management module. As you can see, everything is done. All right, guys, what are my plans for today? I guess we need some kind of introduction. all right so it's 9 a.m i just uh, came home from gym and my package is delivered let me show you what i got so let's unpack it All right, guys, what are my plans for today? First is clipboard manager application. Since I already started to building that application way before and I almost ready to ship the MVP, I decided to finish up and add some minimal add-ons uh, to at least ship the minimal version to App Store for you guys to use it. Uh, so why I decided that? Since I'm already planning out to start new application budgeting tracker, um, I don't want that my clipboard application got frozen for another month or so. So let's implement some minimal add-ons and that's why here is the things I need to do. First is finish the search feature. Second is to add up some analytics tools for me to track daily or monthly active users. And third is to add uh, subscription management tools. Damn, it's impossible to work at home. If you can see someone making a renovation at their home, I think I'm gonna go to a local coffee shop and I'll see you there. Alright guys, so I have found out that Revenue Cat has some problems with Mac OS. I don't know why. It seems like it's mostly made for iOS applications but I don't want to deal with that like edge case problem so I decided to go with a store Swifty store kit which is have some uh, like demo projects for Mac OS iOS and other uh, like uh, applica system that's why I think I'll go in an another way so let's go to implement that uh, Swifty store kit
Alright guys, so I finally finished my subscription uh, management module. Let me show you what I got. So basically I have three types of subscription, monthly, yearly and lifetime, right? And as you guys know, lifetime it's only one time payment and other two, monthly and yearly, it's a subscription base. So I have um, the product service that gets the status of uh, requesting item if it's requested I have a result and whenever the status changed I just passed the value outside with a completion block so every time user runs the application uh, I will receive the validation state if your subscription expired or it's uh, active and it's purchased and it's not purchased and based on that state I will assign some kind of uh, views or screens if somebody not purchased I will just fire up uh, onboarding or subscription page right if it's purchased I will just let it let the users to use the old prop features so with that being said I have uh, finished my subscription model I have fixed I think I have fixed the um, searching engine and only thing it's uh, remained for me it's making UI for subscription subscription model and I think I am ready to ship MVP so let me show you what I got right now so basically what we have let's fire up my screen as you can see everything is done I think for the MVP version I will hide the adding new section uh, feature because for now it's very raw I'll make it one section for everything that all your for your all copied items and let's say we want to search for handle hotkey window as you can see for handle hotkey window if my search engine works really good Metal can. Yes. Savons. 